Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Hey everybody, wait a minute, let me just uh, get my picture of me because ultimately I'm the most important thing about this program. Well, almost. Uh, you'll find out that I'm not the most important thing about this program uh, this evening, but uh, 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 we, will, we will get to that in just a second. Uh, but I just wanted to say that I got a note from uh, Phil, and uh, Phil uh, is fine. Uh, and uh, he's recovering, and they say they got 100% of the blockage uh, blown out, and now there'll be no stopping him. Uh, we, uh, how, how do I, how do I, inter we have a guest here in the, in the studio, uh, and I, I bribed him to be here tonight, and I bribed him with a room, is what I've done. Uh, you may recognize this gentleman, ladies and gentlemen, as Albert Reynoso. Who I thought we were just going to talk about Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what you brought me in here. Yeah. Talk we, about Doc, my favorite show. Your favorite show, uh, <laughs> Doctor Who, and uh, uh, yeah, you, sure we can we can talk about that. Let me uh, let me put us on a split screen here, so they can see uh, both of us there. See see how that looks. Isn't that nice? Uh, no, wait a minute. Now you're moving your head into my screen. You can't, you're not allowed to do that. You can come over oh, here later. That's pretty good. When we, when we talk to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, the a citizen panel, uh, then you can do it. Is that still going on? Yeah, that's still going on. How long on. have I been away from GabNet? How, uh, it's got to be, how long have you been away from GabNet? It's been several years now. Uh... 13, 14, what are we in, 18 now? Well, let's see. You and I, 15, were, we I were fired in April 13. of 13. Right. We kept doing the TV thing until New Year's. And right. then I tried to do it with Marjorie running the board, but forget it. That was, you know, I mean, she was she gave it her best. but uh, And then we went to doing it once every three weeks. <laughs> yeah, but then you did this in the meantime, in too. In the meantime... I, well, and, we, this, and this thing works. We always, we always, if you m may remember, mm -hmm. we did this show. Um, we did this show. Um, uh, I think as a, as a simulcast with a TV show. The Origi radio thing o originally, when we started the when we first started the podcast, we did the TV thing and then we simulcast it. I don't think so. Yes, we did. Yeah, on audio. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then when we stopped doing the TV, I started. We started doing this, and you. Uh, I said, "Do you want you do a show too?" Right, that I remember. Yes. And then you did the show. At, we did it. Uh, we were doing the the uh, TV show at what ten o'clock in the morning, something like that, ten to noon. Yes. So you decided you were going to go on at ten, and I right. would go on at eleven. That's right. It was a morning thing. And you, I, you did an hour, and I did an hour. That was a huge mistake. And then you decided that you didn't like getting up that early, <laughs> and so you wanted to move your show to eight o'clock. Right. So I said I'll move mine to nine o'clock. And is that <laughs> when it went on? Yeah, I think eight o'clock. Or, that, or you went on at nine. Nine o'clock, and, and you 10. went on at ten o'clock. Yeah, I went right. on at ten. I think that's what it was. And you did your show for a while, and everybody loved it. And everybody asked me where you are and what you're doing, and they wish you were still doing a show. And well, but all I have is two words for you: witness protection. You know, yeah, that's, you can't, that's just you, the way it goes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Yeah, my hands are tied. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I haven't been able to. Uh, explain where you've gone or anything like that but you still do i uh, do remain on the uh app on the uh, roku app on the roku's channel i have no idea why or, be, be, or, it, or be, that well, i was it, on a roku it, it, app. It, it, it's in a like gone but not forgotten section oh, okay thank and you. i have about 10 of your shows there oh that's nice along with revelstoke jim uh -huh. all these bodies in this right, yeah. in this podcast <laughs> cemetery uh -huh. now, and now, so if I go to Roku, I can get on the GabNet channel and find these? Yes. 
Oh, okay. Not Gabnet TV, the regular Gabnet channel. Right, there yeah. The, 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 yeah. Well, I'll find it, yeah. yeah. On Roku, I just look up yeah. Gabnet. and then oh, there, there's good. a place, I don't know what's called, uh, Gone But Not Forgotten, or some, I, I can't Losers remember. who aren't on Gabnet It's right there, anymore. I should have shown, I'll show it to you tomorrow. Okay, yeah. I'll be here for, yeah. I'll be here for several days, annoying yeah. you Yeah, and he's staying wife. here forever, folks. Yeah. He's, uh, it, it, it's the Sponge family, and they plan to, as long as we're, uh, What's the word we're looking for? What do they call people who are still alive? You no, know, staying in an apartment. But <laughs> we're the, we're taking it. This place is so great. The apartment is wonderful. Yeah. The, the 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 people are wonderful. But we just want the apartment. It's such a great apartment in New York. We're just going to kill you and leave you here. Yeah. There's also a crawl space. I've already spotted that you guys would fit perfectly into. The, so. the crawl space is actually in the ceiling. On top too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So all you have to do is just shove us in one of the yeah. crawl bases. And if you don't mind the smell for a while. No, we got garbage bags. It, oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. We know what we're doing. No, but we are. Well, what's the <laughs> term when people uh, uh, move in somewhere, but they're not supposed to be there? Uh, squatters. Squatters. Yeah, right. We're, 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 we've been squatting <laughs> now for five years. And so you could, I don't know, it may not be legal in New York, but we could maybe sign a sub-squatter sub -squatter. lease. That that's possible. Uh, okay. Do you not believe that exists? Sub squatter. I'm sure it exists somewhere <laughs> in this town. Definitely. Actually, we're not squatters. We've been sitting here waiting for somebody yes. to decide who we pay. Yes. It's really what it is. Yeah. yeah. You know. And nothing wrong with that because your money's sitting in a bank making and, money. And we don't owe anybody anything because we never signed anything That's right. with anybody. That's right. Good but we you. have high price lawyers. You know, you, people say, "Oh, you're you're living in this apartment for free, right?" Well, not exactly. Over the last five years, we have paid out $50,000 uh -huh. in legal fees. Uh-huh, yeah. All right? So that's our rent. That's that's good for $10,000 a year in rent. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. That's not bad at all. But it's, uh, you know, <laughs> still it's rent. Yeah, okay. You know? If that's all the rent you have to pay, then I guess your rent... You may be more than rent controlled. You may be uh, more than rent stabilized. You may be rent controlled now at that price. Uh, Ten it, grand it, a year. Wow. Well, this is a rent stabilized apartment. Yeah, uh, oh, on top of it, it's rent stabilized. It's rent stabilized. Wow, you're getting off easy. That's part of the argument. Yeah. Well. You know, it's a good well, you, argument. You know the whole story. Yeah, I know the story. I mean, it's just. A, I know the story. Well, good for you. In fact, you know what? You know what's weird? I'm as I get older, I start forgetting. Well, you don't get younger. <laughs> well, I know that. You don't have to point it out. Oh, I'm just telling okay. you. That's the progression of things. Time does that. Hell, when I knew you, you were but a mere child, a broth of a boy. I only had three gray hairs. We've known each other now for 14 years? For, yeah, 14 years now. Yeah. Yeah. 14, 13, yeah, something like yeah. that. 14, 15, yeah. Yes, 14 years. It was 14. And they came to me and they said, we have this guy who we think would make a good producer for you. Would you like to try him? But we'll give you Albert Reynoso instead. But we'll give you Albert <laughs> Reynoso instead. That's right. No, but they said, would, would you like to do it? And mm -hmm. I went, uh, sure. You know, I was always very copacetic to stuff mm -hmm. like that. And in San Francisco, there was a newswoman doing the morning show, and they said, would you take our newswoman, would, or, or do you want to use your own? I said, no, I don't want to put anybody yeah, out of a job. Yeah, right. And I don't want to put you out of a job. I said, sure, I'll. I'll. I, wasn't, I didn't even work there at the time. No, you I You got know. me fresh. I know. I w in fact, uh, thank goodness for that, I think. Yeah. Now, yeah. That, now that I remember it. And, I came and you hated me. Oh, well, most people that first meet you hate you. Yeah, so you that's, hate, that's not, yeah, there's yeah. nothing unnatural you about that. You hated me. I think we probably, how long <laughs> was it before we kind of liked working with each other? I think it was when uh, management gave us shit about something we wanted to do and then we said wait a minute we're not each other's enemy those guys <laughs> those are the enemy those guys are yeah <laughs> they're screwing with what we're trying to do here and and for the rest of the time which was i let's say we we it took us a, a year to get used to each uh -huh. other okay for the rest of the time i think uh, we were a great combination yeah you, worked you out know, well you were uh, the best worked producer well. i ever had yeah, of course you know and of course <laughs> Oh, you had your weaknesses. Oh, I have many. You were never you. I were, have many. Can I tell you what you were never good at? <laughs> Booking guests. That's it. 
I have I have no, I have no problem hearing that. You know, because you know what was the worst thing to do? What booking, booking guests. guests? Yes, of course. I, Wait, I'll tell you though. But I also had my hands tied in, in that place because they didn't let me uh, approach people that I had been so accustomed to approaching over the years, just working in New York outside of Sirius, and I couldn't do my job. They wouldn't let me do that. Why? Because they wanted their PR people to contact, uh, you know, big celebrities on behalf but, but, of shows that they wanted to charity But in the very pick. beginning, I think you could go out and get people if you wanted. Yeah, I could, but then I'd, then I'd have to uh, battle with other people that said, oh, we, we really need them, so we can't put them on both stations. I mean, we had a lot of that. Yeah. We well, had a lot we of had, that. Well, towards the end, we had the problem it was that they had like a central booker, right, and, yeah. and we just sat there and they said, do you want so-and-so? Yeah, Or sure. if we heard that so-and-so was coming to town, uh, we want so-and-so. Well, I'm sorry, he's booked on so-and-so yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's on Howard. If yeah, he was we, on I mean, Howard, we couldn't get him. We wanted all the celebrities in New York that were of yeah. name value yeah. or of some entertainment interest. Yeah. Who wouldn't, yeah. right? So why wouldn't we ask for him? I don't know. So, but uh, but yeah, but you, know, you were but you were never really good at going out and, and booking people. You, but you became very good at saying to the people upstairs, "Yeah, we'll take them and we oh, won't no, take I them." Oh no, I was good at booking people before I went to series. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, because you. But I could I couldn't I couldn't follow up. I had great contacts. Yeah. But when I when I got there, I there was a you know a lot of roadblock. Yeah, but, you, you but the idea of booking doesn't appeal to you. Not anymore. No, that soured me on it. Oh really? Oh, that oh, yeah. soured. That you. soured me on it. I had some okay. great relationships with some of the good PR people, but yeah, couldn't use them after a while. Yeah. I mean, my my ex-wife was a great booker. Yeah, she booked some great people yeah. for me. And but it, we also had an office for her at WPLJ, and she would sit in it every day, and she made she got to know all the PR exactly. people in town. Exactly. That's what you have yeah. to do. But that was the old days. Yeah. That was the yeah. old days. Now you know it's. Yeah, now you send out a tweet and you get something back in two seconds. It, it, oh, yeah, I'll do it, it. it. What show is it? I don't care. I'll do it. Well, that's not necessarily the case. <laughs> oh, no, If it were no. that easy, I'd have a guest on here every night. No, you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> no. You don't want that kind of guest. Yeah, well, also, the well, what I do now is I pre-record my guests, mm -hmm. even the video. Oh, ones. that's a good idea. And the reason I do that is because I found I, I tried putting... A guest on with uh, the citizen panel. Mm -hmm. Now, if they were here while the show was going on, that might work. Right. But the fact that they were somewhere else, and then all of a sudden, if I said, "Well, here's Penn Jillette," you know, and then Penn Jillette comes on with the right. citizen panel, they're going to shut up. Uh huh. They're not going to interact. Yeah. You know. That's right. And or he is going to feel so intimidated by the fact that he's seeing a panel of like five other people. No, it's so. the best way to do it. So I pre-record them. One-on-one. -on -one. I do my bubbles once every week. and I. I but get, you don't edit. No. Good. Who, who, okay. Who edits anymore? Well, there's a lot of people that edit. Really? Yeah. To this day? Oh, absolutely. I mean... Absolutely. To, well, to begin with, I wouldn't edit because I like the show to be live or at least seem live. Well, so the, the spontaneity of the interview is the, is the best thing. So if I'm recording like uh, 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 Will Durst mm -hmm. as an example, and he's on video, or my ex-wife and she's on video, right. I don't want to. I don't want to edit that. You know. No. Sometimes the, the signal. The, I'll be talking to Bubbles, and we'll lose the signal. His phone will go out or something, and I just dial him right back, and we put that on the okay. air. Yeah. You know. That's the way it should be. Because it's real, folks. It's yeah. real. Yeah. By the way, in, case, no break in case you don't know and you just joined us, this is Albert Reynoso. And Albert Reynoso, for the better part of over nine and plus years, was my producer at uh, Sirius and then Sirius XM. Well, that's a big chunk of time. That is a I big chunk of time. That's a big chunk how, of time. How dare they fire us? <laughs> we still don't know why. No. We have no idea why. Uh, I, I guess that's uh. the part that bothers me the most. Uh. No, you know why it bothers me? I'd like to know it was my fault. <laughs> you know? I, do I'd you like want me to tell you it's your fault? Then then you get what you wanted. No, I don't want you to tell yeah, me it's I your fault it, because yeah. you can't do, do it, it because yeah. you're not the people who fired me. Yeah. But they, the funny part was usually they fired me, mm -hmm. but they don't fire right, you. Right. You just go on to another show. Did they, uh, did they, did the management guys take you out to lunch yet? 
Oh, by the way. Because I know yeah, they were I, going to. I, here's what happened. The, the <laughs> last day, remember the last day I was there? They came in yeah. after the show. Yeah. And they said, uh, you know, been really nice working with you. <laughs> it's and so good in to a have couple you of here. Weeks, Get out. And in a couple of weeks, when you feel up to it, we'd like to sit down and have lunch yeah, with of you. And I went, oh, what for? They said, well, let's wait till the lunch, right? <laughs> so then I write them a couple of weeks later, and I said, I'm ready. Yeah, right. Let's have lunch. And they said, well, so-and-so's out of town for the next couple of weeks, and then okay. I'm going after that. We'll get back to you. And now here it is five years later, and I've never gotten a call from these assholes to have lunch. So what I thought of doing was writing the program director, because what have I got to lose, folks? Yeah, right. You know, it's not like they're ever going to fucking hire me again yeah. or that I'm ever going to need them for a reference. Right. All right? Right. And I was going to write him and say, dear so-and-so. Yeah. You know who the so-and-so would be. Mm -hmm. uh, don't bother inviting me to lunch. <laughs> I've already eaten. <laughs> if so-and-so is even still there. Who knows? I think they're still there. Oh, still really? There. Oh, they're still okay. there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. That won't last forever. Mediocrity survives at that place. Every, but yeah, but even even the mediocre have their last day. So. Yeah. They, they have Don't the day about. when, how do you describe it? The boss is waiting by the elevator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that used to happen. <laughs> Explain that. Well, that, used to ha that used to happen at, at a radio station that we both worked at. Yeah. And the, the disc jockey would come in, and the boss would, the program director, the boss of the radio station, would wait by the elevator <laughs> and tell the guy, you're fired, so he doesn't even go on the air. And they already have somebody in the studio. And he doesn't even get past the glass no, doors. No, he doesn't get, he doesn't get, he, barely the, the doors open and then they close again. The unusual thing they did do with me <laughs> at Sirius, and you have to admit that there was something right there. Yes, I, I know what you're going to say. Is that they fired me about three weeks before yeah, my last right. show. They let me stay on the air because they trusted me. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time, they don't let you go back on the air. Right. Your last show is your last show. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, and that's it. No more, no less. Uh, and, and the reason for that is is they're afraid you're going to you know, you're gonna do something. Say something bad. Say something bad. Write something on your social media. You well, know, that you do that. anyway. Yeah. Well, but but if they if they found that out, you know, a week into it, and they gave you three more weeks, you'd be out after that week. Yeah, probably be good press, though. Yeah, you know. Well, they, they missed uh, that, miss that opportunity. Well, let's see. Here, here, I remember one of the uh, one of the guys that's gone that went was uh, Anthony Cumia. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. They fired him because he he did a tweet somewhere. Some, which, right. Some that, kind of social that, thing. That yeah. always galled me because. I mean, come on, that isn't his radio show. He didn't right. say it on the radio right. show. He wrote it in a tweet. Yeah, and he's a, a comedian for all intents and purposes. And, and a controversial. So, they right, tried to yeah, be controversial. certainly, certainly. I don't know what he wrote. I can't remember. They fired him. Yeah. So Opie, who I yeah, I like Kumia. Kumia was, I think, a nicer guy than Opie. Opie I don't know either Opie, of them. Opie really. was like a piece of shit. Uh, well, I'm not going to uh, say. I don't know. Okay, any anyways. Of anyway. Um, so Opie, of course goes on without him. They've been a team forever, but instead of taking mm -hmm. his stand and saying, you fire him, I'm not staying either. He goes, okay, I'll do the show. And he- Well, I know a lot, I know a lot of, of buddy, of duos like that in radio yeah. who, who don't necessarily want to work together, but they have some kind of chemistry. Yeah. But they don't want to work together. Oh, okay. So I can understand that. All right. I can understand well, that. Well, anyway. and there And there have been several in, in New York in the last 10 years that that happened with. Anyway, they fired Opie. Yeah, yeah. You know, and now know. Jim Norton is doing his show. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I don't know what's going on in radio. Norton, I who I had a problem with for a while because of, uh, uh, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, we he was saying something yeah, something yeah. about you. Oh, 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 it, oh, it, I, was, I was walking down the halls, and they were saying something yeah. about me as I was walking down yeah. the halls, and I turned them into HR saying, I don't need this kind of hostile environment to yeah. work in, and and it, it, and and Norton and I so always had this kind of thing yeah. with each other. And the last day I was I there, this. Norton came up to me and said, "Sorry to see you go, yeah, Alex. I You're terrific." Uh -huh. And I went, "Wow, 
You know, that's and I thanked him very much. And I, ever since then, I've really had a certain affection for Jim Norton. Has he invited you on the show? No, yet? he hasn't. No. So fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. Here's the thing that I was thinking today. You know, like too bad we're not doing serious any longer, because you you did, were thinking that. Well, I was thinking uh, that, but for a particular reason. Okay. Is that you do a spot on Donald Trump? No, no, no. No, I'm not going to ask no. you to do it now. No. But you did a Donald Trump before Donald Trump was ever thinking about running for president, was still doing The Apprentice, and you would do Donald Trump. But I would perfect. only throw out four or five lines. The only four or five lines that anybody could do. Yeah. That's what I would do. But now you have to do all the mannerisms and you have to do, you know, you have to know how to talk just you know, like this I can't, guy does. I can't, the lines were basically something like something spectacular or wonderful or... What? I think you, you did hyperbole. Yeah, well, he, he used to say many, many people. Many, yeah. Many <laughs> people love me. The blacks love me. Yeah. You know, he, yeah. The, the, yeah, it, yeah. there were only certain phrases and it, essentially... He still says that. It's the tweets. It's the same stuff. Yeah. It's going to be the very best... It's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen anything like it. <laughs> you see? See, folks? It's, it's just these, these useless phrases that but he throws around. All I could think of when I, when I was singing this the other day because I, I knew you were coming, I said, I forgot. He did the best Trump ever. No, I, I just did the, you know. Every time you did it, we'd be breaking the up. Thing. Okay. We'd be breaking up. Right. But everybody knew what a prick he was. Everybody yeah. knows. <laughs> many, many, people. many people, many, <laughs> many good people love me. The bad people, the fake news, hate me. See, there you go. But he, he, he's al he's almost better just just to do him than Bush was. But yeah. Bush had the had the the words. The, there were so many great phrases that he had. That's what I loved about Bush. Now I got I got I got to <laughs> praise you for something. Oh, please do. Oh, I'll be happy to. <laughs> um, we were, you, uh, this, something happened where, uh, I don't know, my old boss at Sirius uh -huh. told Fox that you'd be a good producer for Alan Combs. Oh, right. You remember that? Yes. Which pissed me off, of course, about Sirius because you were doing the stuff with me. Right. You know, we were doing the TV right. stuff at the time. Right. And I'm thinking, you know, he knows he's working with me. He's got to know it. And here he is pawning me off, you know, sending him off to somebody else. Uh -huh. But, you know, you went over and you talked to them and they really wanted you and liked you. They hired me. They, and, they, and, they, they, and then they hired you. <laughs> they hired me. Uh, and I can't. Oh, I, yes. I remember what it was. And for a nice buck, too. Yeah. Yeah. Fox pays well, don't they? Yeah, but it's a it's a spooky environment over there. Yeah, it's really spooky. Yeah, and I was only there for two days. Well, <laughs> here's why he was there for two days. So on the I guess the second day you were there, somebody comes into you, a boss or something, and says, "I hear you're doing because you were still doing." Yes, I was still the, doing the, the, the internet stuff. The internet stuff. I think I I think I'd mentioned to you that I may do it once a week instead of four times a week or five times a week, whatever it was, because now I have this full-time thing that I have to do with Alan Combs. In fact, one of the trade publications wrote about it. Well, yeah, wrote about the fact that you had the, pod, wrote you about, the podcast. Wrote about, yeah, well, they said, hey, congratulations to Albert Reynoso is going to Fox News yeah. to uh, produce for Alan Combs, and he still does his podcast on GabNet, uh, which uh, is Alex Bennett's uh, yeah. podcast network yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And my boss read this and called me into the office and said, do you, do you really do a podcast every day? I said, yeah, I do. He said, uh, we can't have you do that anymore. I said, why not? He said, well, that's it's a conflict of interest. And now, uh, this, this is what really got to me. This, folks, if you want to pay attention to it, is considered a prime competitor yes. this is to Fox Broadcasting. <laughs> Well, now it might be. It might it be. It might be today. It might be today. But, <laughs> today it might but be. back then, it no, certainly back then wasn't. It wasn't. No. And you told them, and, and they said, so you can either do Combs right. or you can do your little podcast. And you told them. Well, they said, you, you, it, they didn't say it like that. They said, you can't do your podcast 
because that's that's uh, a conflict of interest with Alan Combs, who, by the way, had his own podcast. Yeah. That was airing on a different radio thing yeah. at the same time, and he had another radio thing that he was doing, which had nothing to do with Fox either. Right. And so did just about any Fox host. Hannity had his own radio show. Uh, a lot of the right, other people right, had their own. Right. So, but, I, it, but, so it didn't make any sense at all. And I said, well, I'm going to continue to do the podcast, so I guess uh, you don't want me here. He said, no, we can't have that. And I appreciated I said, that. I appreciated that. Yeah. But I think part of it was, number one, your immaculate love for me. But the other part of it had to it do... It must be, ask my wife in the next room, because she was not thrilled by it. Was not but, thrilled by what? You know that I turned down this job with Fox. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, your scruples. That'll that'll pay the rent. That's good. But I think you didn't want yeah. anybody telling you what you could do and couldn't do. Um, this, that certainly had to do with it. Uh, and but the zombie-like atmosphere was enough to clinch it. You know, because I I, I mean it really was a strange atmosphere over there, very strange. Yeah. Um, and I thought, well, if you're going to tell me that I that I don't have to work here because of my podcast then I'm not working here because it's just too weird in here already you know yeah so that was that part was, of the reason you left it was, it was a big reason yeah but you, you kind of just kind of just got disgusted with radio altogether didn't you well radio got disgusted with radio it's not there's no radio yeah. like you and I did it and like anybody who listened to the radio at you know in, in, in the 70s and the 80s certainly in the 60s it's it, it's just not the same even if you listen to Sirius, it's not the same. It sounds similar if you listen to 60s at 6. Oh, yeah, I remember the jingles. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember those disc jockeys. But it's not the same thing because they're sitting there writing stuff uh, in 20 minutes that they're going to put over four hours, you know, or, or saying things in 20 minutes. It's, it's just not the same. Yeah, it's all voice, what they call voice yeah, track. Yeah, it's all voice track the day before. It's not the same. It's, there's no immediacy at all. Yeah. I mean, it, you, you can't have the same feeling about uh, about what goes on in life if it's not live, if it's if it's not being well, done. Also, the other problem with Sirius was they would rather go out and pay known names oh, yeah. than develop their own talent. Oh, I'll go one further and say that they, they would rather go out and not pay and have some magazine or somebody come in and... and give them so-called hosts for shows who know nothing about radio, who know nothing about anything but the publication they work for. And that's what they, they have a lot of that. Yeah. Sponsored programming. Or if not sponsored, then uh, uh, what would you call Subsidized. that? Branded, ba well, branded what, what programming. What you're saying is something like if uh, Entertainment Magazine has an Entertainment Magazine channel. Oh, I believe they do. Yeah. I'm that, pretty that, sure they do. That, the, 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 TMZ now has a, has a serious channel, I think. Uh, I don't think so. I th they I th don't advertise it. Ever. No, no. I, th I thought we I'd watch TMZ every day. Oh, okay, all right. So they, I don't think they have a channel. But, uh, but it, it, the, what I think we're saying is that Entertainment Magazine probably pays the staff that works that channel, without a doubt, without a doubt, yeah. no question about it. Yeah. You know, so, I, it, I, don't be surprised if you see the Inquirer channel on there or or something similar. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't, wouldn't, I'm su be surprised if it's not there now. And my question is, with all the money they spend for personalities on Sirius XM, all that money, the, huh? Most of the people who have Sirius XM listen to the music channels. Yeah, that's true. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, they or the specialty channels like uh, comedy. Where there aren't a lot of hosts, it's just rebroad rebroadcast uh, comedy albums. Well, or it's old stuff it's and almost like a music channel. Yes, because exactly. they're playing they're playing mm -hmm. recordings and so on and so forth. Or the sports channels, that's big too. Well, I just I'm I'm so happy you came to stay with us and everything because I you know uh, you're one. Who would have thought this friendship would have endured? That's that's a that's a, a good question. No, really, that's a very good question. Yeah, the in the initial big, in the initial stages, yeah, you would have thought that. You would have you would have thought that we wouldn't. And and uh, there's been an amount of loyalty you've presented to me, and I hope I I I've never had the ability to have that same loyalty back. Or oh yes, you it, have. Or to prove it. Oh yes, you have. How's yeah. that? Well, I was talk I was talking to, uh, to to Michael Billy, and he told me that. No, I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't, I don't know wh- whatever became of Michael Billy. Do we know? Does anybody know? Michael Billy was running for some office over oh, in New was Jersey. He? Yeah. Did he win? I don't think so. Oh, I'm going to have to email him. I think I emailed him once and it, and it came back to me. I don't even know what his real email is anymore. Really? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Billy is a professional <laughs> homosexual. Yes, he is. He, and he got me into into the gay bars when we were doing the broadcasts from where were we in Iowa? Yeah. Oh, you went to a gay bar with him. Oh, you? yeah. Yeah. Either Iowa or New Hampshire, one of the two. Yeah, I went, because I went with him. we would go someplace uh, like <laughs> Iowa or New Hampshire. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, for the, uh, the primaries, and then Michael Billy would have to, would know exactly where the gay bar was. As and soon as the broadcast was over, the editing was done. Boom. <laughs> let's go to the gay bar. There was not even a question as to let's just go to a bar. Yeah. He said, I know the gay bar, let's go. But he was a little pissed off because uh, I think I got cruised more than he did when we went really? there. Really? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see why. <laughs> uh, you, those shorts, you look, you get, you're, oh, you're you. all tanned, you're living in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, you're, you're uh, uh, you know. Life is good. In spite of it all, life is good. Well, you know, you got, you got a good woman with you. I got the best. I don't know if you're married or Sorry not to anymore. say about your wife, but I got the best. Uh, no, you don't have to say it. You got the best. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from me. Yeah. yeah. No, mine's pretty damn good. Yes, yours is pretty damn good. You know, I mean, we're getting to the point. We're two cranky old people. That's our problem. I'm not really that cranky. I know. I'm not really that cranky. First of all, let me tell you that uh, the state government of my new uh, state has been very, very gracious in allowing me uh, because of several needs, um, to, they pr- they provided me with an ID card for medical marijuana. So there can be nothing better than that. Uh, so there's dick. so there's no income tax and medical marijuana. Why doesn't everybody live here? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Well, you know, you couldn't get my wife to move out of this town. Well, uh, it's tough. It's tough to move out of this town. But well, give, first given the right to, situation, first you have to find the exit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And there are only a couple of them. Well, that's because she's so energetic. This is a town for energetic people. I said it to my wife when we, when we had a, a little bite to eat earlier. She's I said, energetic. She comes home and she passes out. I don't get that. I get. I see her moving all around all oh, over yeah, the place. Oh, yeah, that's a put-on. Oh, is that just that's for us? Show. That was for show. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, keep, I'll keep an eye out. Is she asleep already? Wait a minute, but she's, yeah. she's the only working stiff in the whole house. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm talking about me and my wife as well. We're not working snips. Well, your wife is walking dogs. That's true, yeah. So she's, she's starting, working. She's starting a dog walking She's yeah, working. Business, yeah. So she I, is working. No, I feel like I'm a pimp. You know? She gets up, goes to work every morning, you know, brings home a salary. Meanwhile, I haven't brought home a salary in five years. Where is the bad... What's the bad thing about pimping? Uh, I, I, I've, I've heard it's terrible, but I I've never been able to see a reason why. I don't seem to be it. able to figure out what's bad about what's that. What's bad about pimping? It's not like I'm beating up on the hoe. <laughs> I don't do that. But yeah. what's the bad thing about that? What, is that all the money you brought home tonight? You know. I've so, provided in the past, so... So listen, What's you're going to be here for a couple of days, and you'll probably come back on here again sometime during that time. Uh, yes, I think probably uh, probably next. You don't do Mondays, right? No, I don't do Mondays. Uh, then the only I think the only other opening we have is Wednesday. Is Wednesday? Yeah, because we have a show on Tuesday night. Thursday we we leave. Yeah. Monday you're not on. Yeah. Um, I'm not on Sunday. And tomorrow we're going to a show. Right. So Wednesday is the only other time. The Wednesday's I the only here. other time. So would you like? Why would you like that to happen? I don't know, but would you like to crawl over here and let me turn on the Skype lines and talk to a yeah, few people? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I mean, I could leave you there, but then you couldn't really see them that well. No. I, no. I can. I I can hear them. That's all I need. That's all you need. You no, I did this for a little while. Uh, I rarely looked at the screen when they yeah, when they I were on the skype put, lines. Put you on, on, uh, both pictures on. Yeah, let uh, me see. Be, 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 Where's be, my which, which you, cameras? Best, my, best my you kind of come over. Just come over here. What am I doing? And we'll be we'll be better off. Let me let me just uh, turn on my Skype. Here we go. We go online to Skype, uh, and uh, ah, there you are. See, there you are. Everybody can see you now. 
Wait, is this one? Is this the one? Oh, this what? is the one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's Hi. the one. Okay, yeah. This. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Let me let me just cut to, to us here. Okay, just move over a little and, more and this way. Do, what am I using? Sharing the mic here with you? Yeah, you got to share the mic. Okay, I'll share the mic. Uh, unless somehow you can. Well, that did take too much to move that one over. But uh, anyway, so our lines are open, folks. If you want to call. See, this is the point where I just sit here and I just know one night nobody's going to call. And that's the night it's all over with. Call. Huh? Call. 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 Uh, you know. Um, that's only good for the people that are watching the video. Yeah. Somebody Those last night on the nothing. show said, what, 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 what's happened to you? Where are you? Who? Uh, you. Yeah, here I am. Right and, here. And, and I said, well, I was just talking to him the other day and he's going on vacation and they oh. said, oh, where is he going on vacation? I said, guess. Yeah. And they went, uh, Italy? Uh, what, what, what kind of vacation is it that, that somebody tells you you have to come into my spare room and talk into a long stick? Uh, exactly. Exactly. All right. Now, uh, let me oh, see look here. Look at that. Let me, uh, they, you, do you remember Scott Boddicker? Yes. Do you remember Scott? Wait a minute. Let me get rid of all this garbage here and get rid of that there. And then I can... Uh, See there, and then we're right oh, down at the bottom. Isn't See that, that fancy stuff? Isn't that cute, huh? Very nice. See, and I can I'm not also say much. I just wanted to make sure I had my spot reserved for the big crowd that's going to be coming in. Uh, the oh, big yeah. crowd that's going to be coming in. Okay, well, oh, here, here comes the familiar face here, coming. Here comes screen. Tom Yamaguchi, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Yeah. Tom Yam. Uh, Tom Yam. He, he used to call your show, didn't he? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. and you remember and he Tom? Used to call serious all You the time. also remember Tom? From my installation yes. in the Hall of Fame. That's right. The, uh, what is it? The uh, bar, the bar, what is it, Tom? The Barhoff? The Area Radio Hall of Fame. Bar Barhoff, right. Barhoff. Right. Yeah. That, that was a, uh, a liquor place owned by uh, uh, Dennis Hoff. Yeah. Is this still going on? Are you still allowing him to do these kind of jokes? No, uh, Stop it. Now that's that's uh, that's Ray. Maybe you don't know Ray, but Ray is uh, hey. he's out walking his dog. All right, Ray, good for you. You know. <laughs> he he supplies the what could we call it? The color. Yeah. Uh, he's a little you're, you're someplace where there isn't a good signal though you're frozen, Ray. Fr Ray's gone. Get him out. Ray, you there? <laughs> Get him out. He'll try he'll try again. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so you, uh, so you, of course, Tom, you remember. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. She, he remembers me slightly. Yeah. <laughs> he likes he likes all your other producers better from the Bay Area. Now, did Scott Boddicker ever call you? Did you just, call me, Scott? Just, just, uh, I, I think I called you on the last day of, uh, well, uh, towards the last days of you and Alex on Sirius. Oh, really? Is okay. that Albert? All right. Yeah. 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 Hey. hey. I know. You hey. don't know me. I'm just saying hi. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> and, and who is that? Uh, this is me. This is Ray. Oh, Ray. The dog, walk, the, the dog walker. Ray, do you get paid to walk the dogs or they're your no, dogs? No, it's his dog. Uh, okay. Okay. It's my, By yeah, the it's way, my Disney dog. I heard a great joke the other day. And actually, yeah. uh, unbelievably, I uh, uh, who is this calling? Let's see here. Somebody's Steve. on the phone. Who is this? Is this Steve? Is this Steve? No, nah, it's Doug. Albert, oh. my man. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I thought, oh, I I thought he God. was banned from the network. He was. Well, how did that happen then? It's been so long. No that wonder. I, you don't have caller ID. <laughs> yeah, it's just Doug. anybody can get oh through. Oh, my God, Doug. I was surprised you didn't hang up on me. But anyway, I'm glad you didn't. I'm you know, calling from a motel room. That's the only way I can get through. Because <laughs> you got my number, because you got my number blocked. You know who's calling next? Fafa Fui. Yeah, Fafa Fui. Wait a minute. So you're you're in a. a, a, a do you still have the same job oh. you had? Oh no, I quit back in March of uh, 2017. I'm doing this photography thing, oh, and now I know you. where the term "starving artist" comes from. Yeah. But my wife's not complaining for me to get a job, so I'm having fun doing what I'm doing, and uh, the boss that they hired was an asshole. And I was like, I don't know how many tomorrows I have left. But it's, you're not going to be part of them, so I left. How long? Years. How long are you on the wagon now? Excuse me. How long are you? On, <laughs> how long are you on the wagon? About about two minutes. 
Okay, <laughs> just checking. I'm in a hotel room. What the hell you expect? Yeah, okay. So anyway. Oh, good. Uh, if you want to hang up on me, I don't mind. I appreciate Alex <laughs> what, what? to allow me on here. You know, it's been so long since you've been on. How can I hang up on you? <laughs> what kind of Very photography easily. involves you being in a hotel room? Yeah, what, yeah. yeah. The, only, the only kind of photography I can think of that would involve a hotel room is porn. Uh, now you're going to get him started. Just, I, I just tra I travel around to different places, and I had to actually I had to go back to another motel I was at to retrieve my uh, tablet that I left there. Yeah, that my wife it. bought me, and she was really pissed when I was like, "Oh, I left it over there. You better go get that damn thing back." So, yeah. who's the, who's the big porn star now? I know nothing about porn, and I know you do. Uh, I, I, I stick with the old-fashioned stuff, oh, but if you okay. really want to see somebody really kinky, uh, check out Roxy Ray. Who? Roxy Ray, R-A-Y-E. Is it Roxy what? with eight X's? No, 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 <laughs> Three 11. X's. Yes. Three X's. Oh, man. All right, Roxy Ray. I'll be sure Roxy. to get on that right no, after this. No, Roxy, R-O-X-Y. Right, okay. I, I was just like about, music. I, I was about ready to tell a joke here because we were mentioning dogs and dog walking. And I was watching Jeopardy. They're running old Jeopardies on Hulu. And one of the questions was like you had to finish something off, but it was a joke. And the joke was this. Uh, dogs have owners. Cats have blank. Have you ever heard this? Dogs have owners, cats have staff. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I love that. It, it's sense. perfect, right? <laughs> yeah, it's very true. good. By the way, you had a cat you love die. Yeah. Recently, you wrote a whole there thing are, about a, a lot of cats that I love are going to die. Well, yeah. I listen. I'm going to die. Yeah. Well, so yeah. am I. So is everybody here. Yeah, We're fact, all going to die. In fact, you're probably you're probably here about me dying, and I don't know if you're going to come to the funeral or not. Well, you know, I, in fact, it's funny you say that because I did think about, I really did think about this on the plane. I said that I might die while you were here. No, no, that I didn't think about. That won't happen. Oh. But, okay. um, but I did think about that because you've been so kind to have us in your home for a week. I will make the effort to come to your funeral because I've always said no. I'm not going to bother doing it. So this, those, this, you, you will, you, this is cinched. You come so I can get a reserve a seat for That's you right. at the funeral. That's right. I'll be sitting right next to Tom Yamaguchi. Yeah. Now you know my wife wants to uh, uh, crispy me up. She wants to. Yeah, like, she should. She wants to do the ashes. Yes. Thing. We don't want any. No possibility of you coming back as a zombie or anything. That's what we 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 want to make sure. You're going to be nothing but cremated. That's it. Yeah, you, you're coming. You, I know why you want to come to the funeral. Why? To make sure I'm dead. No, your wife said she's going to put out nut cups. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's that's why I'm coming. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, um, Ray, I, well, you take the same walk every day, don't you, Ray? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And then your uh, do your dog. I was riding my bike a lot, but I hurt my neck. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. And, and then we uh, th then you uh, then your dog takes a dump, and we get to see that. It's really this is great. Yeah, not today. Oh, dead rats. We had dead rats the other day. Did you really? Oh boy. Then we just lost Ray again. So Ray just comes in through his phone on the Skype? Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Taking the dog for a walk. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, we had a guy we have a guy by the name of Keenan who called us he calls us now from he's back home again, but he was in uh, Thailand. Okay. Uh, and we have another guy named Bree who's in Dubai. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, and he took us on a, a tour of Dubai one day. So it's it's you know it's this tur show's turning uh, into a damn travel log. Where's Rin? Doing. I don't know where Rin is. Uh, those, those, those are all. Uh, she doesn't call this show. Oh, she doesn't call this no, show. No, she doesn't call this. Is show. she banned too? Or? No, not oh, okay. at all. Not right. at all. She, just, Rin, she Rin, calls Damien's shows every once in a while. She calls oh, really? Damien's show a lot. Yeah, but she doesn't call me. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do a show again. Just You'll so do, Rin, just can so call. Rin will have somewhere. Rin to was call. there every day. First, first person on the Skype. Really? Every day. See, but when she when, day, when you left, show how loyal she was. She immediately was there for Damon. But Damon. not for you. Huh? Not for you. No. Well, why not? I don't know. 
She oh, probably okay. hates me. Uh, I don't know. She's got. She's yeah. on way in the back of the line, and a lot of lot of people <laughs> hate you. We know that. There's a whole. Yeah. There's oh, a whole. There's a massive line. That's why you have five thousand friends because they. That's so right. Many people hate That's you. exactly right. No, no. Right. Having friends on Facebook is like having no <laughs> friends at all. All right. You know. Oh, that you know. That, actually, that's, that's true. There was a guy who's like a community organizer in Wilmington, and he has like over two thousand friends, and he was hitting some hard times and asking for some money on a GoFundMe account. He only got like a like hundred bucks. Yeah, so that shows you what friends they are. Uh-huh. I mean, uh-huh. Tom's a friend. Okay, yes. he's been a friend forever, even before this. You know, uh, Scott's been pretty loyal that way. Uh, Ray is a great guy. And Ray's not here. Huh? You don't have to talk nice about him. He's not here. Right, anymore. right. <laughs> and then you asked about, what's his name? Uh, Doug? D- Doug. Yeah. <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> I forgot his name. He hasn't been on in a while, you know. All right, all right. Listen, I've hard... always liked you. I mean, you know, I knew we had our backs and forth and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, you know, that's just. Well, I can't say yeah. that there wasn't a day that didn't go by that I didn't hate you. So, you know. <laughs> What about uh, a, another guy I was thinking about on the plane? David. What's going on with David? David. David. Czechoslovakia. And I've oh, tra- David from Czech. Yeah, yeah he, I was I, trying, we haven't heard from him in a long time. I was trying to. Fr- Hijack, I, yeah, I was Hijack, trying to remember whatever. the phrase that he that he used to say. Shmirgi. Is that was that what it was? Shmirdi. Uh, Me, which means something sucks. I don't know, but he kept saying that he was going to come to the United States, and you and he were yeah, going to have lunch, and never you never happened, heard from no. him. No. And he is. Yeah, my understanding, he's not on Facebook very much anymore but my last time I had I, you know I'd send him some messages and every once in a while he'd respond but the last thing I got from him he was like in Czechoslovakia still and his wife was like working over in like London now I don't know oh, if that's really? the case now or not but that was the last time I know I remember his wife was something. working in London they because she she was a nurse or something like that yeah yeah, yeah. But he supposedly, from what I could gather, the last time I talked to David, was he does come to the United States bringing tours. Oh, really? Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that was like a couple of years ago, though. Yeah. I, I was just... But, you know, if so, you're anyway. out there, David, we'd love to hear from you. You know, we just haven't heard from him yeah, in a long definitely. time. You know, there are people... Oh, he was the best. I mean, I mean, he had a great sense of humor. He was intelligent. And he had that accent. Yes, yeah, just, and he was, was always best. stoned. That's what the best he thing was. He was always stoned. <laughs> Here comes Ray. Okay, okay. And usually people haven't been calling till after like eleven o'clock, and then all of a sudden, like last night, well, I'll we be were, gone by eleven o'clock. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. He's gonna go to sleep. And eh. Do whatever. Oh, now Ray, that's a good setup. Hey. Oh, now he's home. Oh yeah. Too bright. Eh. Very nice. Oh, I can't get the light right. Yeah, my battery died. <laughs> so you immediately ran home to be hey, part of the show. Well, I was almost home. Yeah. Hey, Alex, let me say goodbye to y'all, your um, your guests, and uh, Albert especially, because I'm calling from this hotel phone. They're probably charge me ten bucks a second, so I don't want to be surprised with a big bill. Yeah. So good. it's a pleasure to talk to you. It's a pleasure I, to I wish talk you would to you. Block my number. I won't call you every day, but I like to call you every once in a while. Well, though. you know, you I'll give, put the pressure on. Yeah, you can give us a call. Try and get on something where you can show us your picture, yeah, so yeah, we can at yeah. least see yeah. you. Yeah. You know. Okay. Try to do what? Uh, so we can see you. Get your face on there. And, and before yeah, well, you, and, 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 I quit my job. I don't have my laptop uh, where uh, I used to be able to do the uh, Skype. Right. With, I'll tell you uh, something though. Do do me a favor. When you do yes, call, sir. before you call, say, "Am I sober enough to sound <laughs> lucid?" And if I'm you, sober now. if you, yes, right. Sounds good. You sound fine. Just, but yeah. say Thank that you. to yourself. Don't call me drunk. Oh, I admit, there some times I called you where I was like, <laughs> "Oh no, shit!" <laughs> I, no, mean, I, shit. I would hear the recordings of it. I was like, "Oh dear." Listen, if I yeah. decide ever yeah. to do a show again here, you call me drunk every night. Okay? <laughs> I want the drunk uh, Doug. <laughs> that's anyway. what I liked about well, listen, your show. Y'all, I appreciate you allowing me on. Y'all take care. Y'all have a great night. And uh, Albert, you know, enjoy Florida there. And, Thank you, uh, Doug. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, have a good one. Bye-bye, All right. Doug. Bye-bye. Okay, that was Doug, ladies and gentlemen. In case you don't know who he is, doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. We could use some more callers. Uh, where are all the uh, Where are all the uh, uh, fans? Uh, don't embarrass me in front of. Uh, Where's the Did citizen you get a panel? Update, Alex. What? Did you get 
Phil update? That's why I was listening. Oh, yeah, I yeah, I uh, got a, a text from Phil, and a, it came out fine. It looks like they didn't have to snap open his chest or anything like that, and they got 100% of the blockage cleared. Yeah, well, that's so cool. now he's going to look healthy, and I don't know if I can put up with that. <laughs> You know. I know he sent me the same thing. I was gonna ask him if if his mind got cleared as well, but I didn't. Ha I didn't do that. Yeah, well, no. it would be funny if he right. suddenly becomes a uh, Democrat. Yeah, I was gonna ask yeah. him that. But, eh, yeah, I didn't want to be responsible for. Once you demise. clear your mind, you're a Democrat. Is Thank he you. the only conservative that calls? No, uh, there's Patrick. Oh, Patrick. Pa Where's Patrick tonight? Well, Patrick would call tonight, but he t he has something he has to do tonight. Oh, okay. Packers. All right. And, Packers huh? Football. Packers. Oh, yeah. That's right. There's That's what he's doing? A game? Yeah. A game? Yeah. He's watching a game? He's run watching okay. the Fudge Packers. A preseason game. Preseason. Yeah. Terrible. That's right. What about MG or whatever? His name? What's his name? Oh, SG. Uh, SG. SG. Yeah, yeah we got this new right winger that's really yeah yeah he's, where's he from uh, it, from outer space outer space i mean <laughs> <laughs> you thought alex jones was bad oh really oh yeah yeah because <laughs> alex jones is bad left. oh really wow yeah, yeah. yes uh tom actually i have to disagree with one thing <clears throat> some followers i don't consider conservatives i just i just feel that they're just uh, followers in the cult of trump so I don't think SG is a conservative. It's unfortunate, though, that oh, the conservatives can't um, put Trump out to dry, okay? That they feel they have to defend him anyway. And that, what are you, what are you covering up the <laughs> camera but for? I'm trying to get the damn white balance and contrast to work right, and it's just not. <laughs> I don't care. He looks as white as uh, the, the, I don't, the cute the oh what's his name the guy who drives in the car all the time yeah i don't know what's going on here oh well you don't know what's going on no i can't figure out why it won't it doesn't matter that much oh there we go it's a little better it's all right that's a little better you usually yeah. your picture is terrific but i think the problem is is my shirt is so dark and my skin you know is what fair. happens that's what if is. i if i it's funny I'm serious if i put on the camera's like, old. if i put on like this shirt all of a sudden my uh your camera goes yeah. dark. It goes darker. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 You know. Yeah, I need a shirt that's more uh, as my skin color. Yeah. Yesterday I was wearing a shirt that was uh, had stripes, and I was more raying because this is such a good camera that I was more raying. Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. uh, Ray? It, it, huh? You know yeah. what it is, Ray? More raying? More Wait a minute. Yeah, Let me yes, I do. Off. It's when you have more of me. That's it. Which is what everyone wants. More, more Ray. Oh yeah, more Ray. Oh geez, I didn't think about that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, where's everybody else tonight? We we had like what was it on Tuesday? Oh, or maybe it was even last night. We had like ten uh, and eight people, something yeah, like that. Last night. And last night was pretty bad. Oh, last night was pretty bad. The it was night, a bad before, show. No, night before we had like, what do you mean it was a bad show? It wasn't a bad show. We never do a bad show. It was. It was. It was not up to par. Uh, um, oh, thanks a lot. Good. Thanks a lot. I was on the show last. Night. So then why didn't you talk? <laughs> it just. It just didn't click. I don't know. There was something wrong with it. It just. You know. It was too much Alex talking. There. You know. I never say anything, right? So, but but Albert brings it out in me. I don't know what it is, but. Uh oh! See, see, he talks. He is cute too. I can see where oh, all those you. gay guys were hitting on him a little uh, in the. And I don't think there's a gay bar in Iowa. I mean, no, it was in New Hampshire. Hampshire. That one was in New Hampshire. Okay. It wasn't. In, it wasn't in Iowa. Definitely. You know not. what it is? It, well, you didn't have that mustache though. Because uh, that's a that's a uh, very maybe. that's a very like um, what's what's the word a bear mustache. It's a bear mustache. Well, I mean, or no. Pedophile mustache. No, pedophile. That's, that's, that's more like it. Pedophile mustache. Pedophile mustache. Yeah. 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 Uh, 
No, but the mustache. You know what I'm talking about? That's uh, no. the most gay guys. No, I know, but the I know bears, you. I know you have a, a certain connection with the gay guys. Oh, so. wait a minute! Wait I, a I minute! Know. Wait a minute! Are we going to get into this again? Oh, I love doing this all the time. Yeah, this, is gonna, the, this is the best. We're going to get into this. It. Okay, wait you a got, minute. Hold, you hold probably on. haven't talked about this in what six, seven months. I haven't talked about this since you left. So you have to get this out every <laughs> six or seven months. You mean the time? The, the time you were gay. I wasn't yeah. gay. Oh, okay, well. He just experimented. I I was curious. Curious? I was curious at, over and okay, over again. I'm going to tell you the story, folks, <laughs> and then you can hear his side of it, and then Tom has a comment because Tom is gay. All right? Yes. Yeah. So Tom will but, Tom will give us the definition. Afterwards. Yeah, but wait a minute. But hold on a second. The story was I was at an orgy. Oh, an orgy. Oh boy. I've heard this so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been like 30 years I've been listening to this story. Yeah, but, but it's a, go you, ahead. and you never get tired of it, do and you? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get your thoughts about it after hearing it again. You never get you never get tired of Ted it. Ted Kaczynski hi. has joined us. Hi, by the way, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin plays Santa Claus at Christmas. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I, love, I, I love that face. <laughs> Oh, the, yeah, that's much better. The lighting was bad. Anyway, what? no, I was I, uh, quickly. I, I I was invited to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, you know, what if you went to an orgy? Oh, and is nobody. This a gay story again? What, what is it? <laughs> what if you went to an orgy and nobody came? Where's what? the rim shot on there? Put the rim shot on that button bar. So no, you I, can don't, I, 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 no, I don't like rim shots. You know that. Yeah. I, I told you no rim shots when you worked with me. Get it in anyway. Anyway. So I mean I'm I'm in this p a pile of bodies and uh, I'm making out with some woman and all of a sudden I feel now, that see, somebody already, already you've tainted the story by pretending to be a heterosexual in the story. <laughs> <laughs> I was making out with some woman. See, get right to the meat of the matter, wait, wait so to speak. And and I and somebody was was, was blowing me and I I looked down, and it was a guy. Right. And I thought I could say stop. Oh. But that I wanted to, I figured, here's a chance to find out what the experience is. Right. And so I allowed him to continue for a little while, and then I kind of got turned <laughs> off by stubble, okay, uh, <laughs> of his chin against my thigh. And uh, so I, I kind of just shifted my body away from him. Uh, what are you, are you eating there? <laughs> He's still eating popcorn during your, during your very amazing story. Go on, anyway, go so, on, go so, on, please so, go on. So that's my story of getting blown by a guy. Uh, and and he, for years, he's just been saying I'm gay. Now, does that make me gay, Tom? Well, all right, I ha if you had been clean shaven, if he had been clean shaven, would you be gay today? If no, I don't, think, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I think I would have said exactly what I'm saying now. I, let me put it this way. My argument about this whole thing is that I know I'm not gay because I've allowed somebody to blow me, and it didn't, it didn't really turn me on. Did you get a rash? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it was from the woman I was with. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. Tom. She has stubble too? Actually, yeah. actually, we were supposed to go in the order of Albert and then me. So so let's go. Alf, you tell your story. Albert, you tell your story, yeah. and then I'll come okay. in after. Uh, quickly, and I was at an orgy, and, and somebody started blowing me. I looked down. It was a guy. I let him do it for a little while, and then it was over with, and I went back to the woman. Uh, 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 critical, critical part is I let him do it. It doesn't even matter how much, so a little while, a long that, while, doesn't matter. So, so you're so, saying that so, makes me gay. Well, yes. Well, the real term is homosexual, right? Homosexual. So if you put your penis in another man's mouth, equals homosexual, equals gay. There it is. Done. All right. Now, now to the expert, Tom. I let, <laughs> remember what he said. I let him do it. No, he did it, and no, then I no, saw no, him no. doing it. You said it, I let him do I it. And I allowed for a him while. to continue. I allowed him to. That's it. That's the. That's okay, the, that's the critical okay. portion. Okay. So one of the critical things here is Alex was on the receiving end oh, instead of on the giving end. That's not critical now, at all. 
Let me finish. Wait a minute. This is an official gay guy. He knows what he's talking about. Michael Billy has also been on my side. He was an official gay guy by anybody's means. And he he agreed with you that I was gay. Yes, he did. He said that's that's gay. Not Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not by Michael Billy standards, certainly. (laughs) I did not agree with you. No, no, Michael did. Did Michael agree with you? Michael Billy agreed. Yes. Yeah. Then Alex is gay instead of being possibly bisexual. Oh well, we didn't really get into bisexual. Okay. We got okay. into the. We got into. Is that a, is that homosexual? Yes. Done. Finished. So so no. so if I have sex with a woman, that makes me heterosexual, right? Um. That's that's heterosexual. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's heterosexual. Okay, so I've, I've that is the definition. That is the very definition. Couple. I've had sex with a couple of women, so okay. that makes me heterosexual, right? Uh, technically, yes. Even though when I was having sex with them, I was fantasized being with a man. That's homosexual. Okay. <laughs> so Alex told you that he imagined he was having sex with a woman when it was actually getting, getting, uh, re- being a recipient of, of, of sex from another man. Okay. So what's going on in his mind? That's the difference. That's so that, it. What's going on so in my that- mind? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. the only thing that makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. This is what this he is. He may be having a homosexual act, but if he, if he, if his innate or his 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 proclivities or his interests are with women, that makes him heterosexual. Now you gotta realize. Here's Tom. Tom is basically gay. He but he has had sex with a woman. He has children. How many children and, do you and, have? And, and on top of this, you were saying earlier you that you know that you are a heterosexual, heterosexual. because you have had sex yes, with a man, and that's you right. know it. So I have 15, 20 years of experience of attempting to be a heterosexual. So I'd be even more confident in my sexuality than you are. That's correct. <laughs> well, if Did you're you Tom. Did you die today? I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, more thing, black. one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. And that is, I, I <clears throat> go to a man, he said, when we were watching gay porn, he says, you can tell the, that the, the heterosexual men in gay porn because of the ones that are getting oral sex and not giving. It's like the Clinton argument. I'll tell you, there is oh, Lewinsky. Okay. My, my old, okay. uh, in the days when he was my old friend Al Goldstein, uh, and he was the editor of Screw Magazine, uh, had to go to see a gay film to review, which he didn't normally review gay films, but there was a gay film, and they invited him. So he said, you want to come along? And I went, sure, I'll come along. And I've never seen a gay film. It would be interesting to see how that compares to regular porn, and... And the and, and I did find it interesting from the standpoint that I, I, I said I expected to be incredibly feminist, a feminist, or feminine, feminine rather, yeah. and yeah. and it wasn't. It was very masculine. There was lots of grease and fists, and you know, it was all <laughs> it was very macho male thing, right? And so I, that's where I found it interesting, uh, but it didn't turn me on, obviously. Um, because I'm straight. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. You got you got that. Uh, and and uh, so uh, he I, I we then leave the movie. He goes back. Week later, Screw Magazine comes out. He reviews the movie and most of the articles about how I tried to blow him in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying a word. Not a word. Not a word. <laughs> so yeah, but. Uh, he, uh, Get used to it. I, I, I wish I, I wish you know, if I were gay, I wouldn't mind, in, especially in this day and age, saying I was gay. Yeah, you, what's you the know? big deal? Yeah, there's no big deal. What's to the big it. deal? You know, uh, let's move. Let's move on from crap like that. Let's move on from crap like race nonsense. Yeah. Just let's talk about people. That's what it's about. Yeah. It's not about what sexuality you well, have. So, what do you think what, of the? What do you think of the gay parade? Anybody wants to have a parade, I say let them have a parade. 
Yeah. You want the you want the uh, the Puerto Ricans to have a parade on Fifth Avenue? Let them have a parade. The gays to have a parade on Fifth Avenue? Let them have a parade. It's LGBTQ, uh, not okay, gay. Okay, right, whatever. How many are there now? LGBT. Uh, no, LGBTQ. LGBTQ. Oh, that's right. You well, left out the T. And I those forgot. T's are going to be pissed at you. Yeah. Ah, damn it. You know. What is T for now? T is transsexual. No, it's transgender. Transgender. Well, you don't even know, sir. Ah. Transgender, and then there's uh, gay and bisexual. And one day and I want to go to a parade down Fifth Avenue. It's just people. Hey, this is going to be about people. Anybody. We wear what you want to well, wear. I, what I, what look I, what what I don't want to look. The Macy's Day Parade, do they hold that because uh, you're proud of being Macy's? Yes, yeah, I very, much so. okay. <laughs> very much so. Very much so. Wondering about. Here's my credit card. I have a Macy's uh -huh. credit card. Is Macy's still around? Yeah, I guess it's oh, still yeah. around. Mm -hmm. They, did they close down in any cities? Everybody's closing down. No, but they're they're having hard times with the retail stores. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And they they own Bloomingdale's. They own uh, what about five different? Retailers, and but the trouble is retailers. that all these all, all these outfits go well. Let's start an online presence. But somehow they can't seem to sell their stuff online that well, or to compete with the likes of, you know. Hey, compete with the likes of eBay. That's tough. Yeah. You, it, you can't do it. I buy most of my little uh, electronic trinkets on eBay. Really? From China, free shipping. Most of the stuff is under a dollar. And I go to I go to electronic sites here, and it's you know twelve dollars for a little piece of something. And it falls apart like, in five minutes. No, it doesn't. It's good stuff. Really? And the stuff and but what you say, the stuff that has fallen apart. I've told them it's fallen apart. Instant refund. No, no problems with it at all really yes so, so that's what's killing a lot one of time I, as well. I bought a uh, I bought a uh, I was looking for a uh, uh, what, 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 uh, uh, what do you call what were these Spit a dat out. machine okay well. and and I, yeah because I had some old dat yeah, tapes yeah. of shows yeah. and uh, I went online mm -hmm. uh, to I never done eBay before then I did the eBay thing and this thing was being auctioned off yeah. and I Waited till the last minute to put in the last bids, and in the last minute, so there's this frenzy of yeah. up, 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 yes. up, 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 and I'm fine. I won it. Oh and yeah. I, and I, I got such a rush off of doing <laughs> that that I said I can't do eBay ever again because I could become an eBay yeah, addict. It is, it is and then I found thing. myself doing it a week later and buying another DAT machine because that DAT machine didn't pull, work the slow mode. Well, well. So that was my, yes, uh, yes, Tom. You just reminded me of something. I've only done eBay once, and uh, I bought a bear. Do you remember the bear? The, you mean the Vermont teddy bears? The, the, the bear that uh, auctioned off on Sirius. And the, uh, the, the money went to, was it the Trevor Project or something regarding helping uh, young, young, uh, young, young gay people, or something like that. I seem to vaguely and, remember and that, and we all signed it or something. Yeah, and you had a teddy bear, and it had little, had a a a, a, a fake uh, iPod with earphone earbuds, and and I won the teddy bear. Well, I do remember that. Do you do remember it? Yeah. And and you know where I what I did with the teddy bear. I don't know something disgusting. I took it over yeah, it's to fun. the uh, Jewish home for the agent. Oh, and, oh, that's nice. So, as far as I know, they still have your teddy bear. Oh, that's great. That's terrific. <laughs> see, Tom is a kind. <laughs> I, see, I here, here, here's the thing about Tom. Here's what I hate <laughs> about Tom. He makes <laughs> us look terrible. Right? Anybody compared what, to what, Tom what, what, what is us, an asshole. Us, us who? Us. Huh? Oh, what do you mean, us? <laughs> us. No, you're not talking about me and the rest Even of the people you, on this you're, panel. You're either. an asshole compared to Tom. <laughs> Ray well, is an compared asshole to Tom, compared to Tom. Yes. Wait Kevin, a minute. how do you know I'm not Kevin, how who's the nicest guy in the world, is an asshole compared to Tom. Oh, no. And, and Scott, come asshole. on. We don't even have to mention Scott. You know. Tom's a saint. Oh, Tom's, no. Tom's a saint. He is? No. He's a Quaker, but he could be a saint. 
No. Now, Kevin, who you probably never knew because I don't think he ever called you. I don't think, no. Uh, uh, he, uh, by the way, people are eating their dinner while they're doing the show. I, I noticed. <laughs> uh, uh, did your wife make that for you, Ray? She did. It's risotto. Oh, uh -huh. and, well, that looks good. And asparagus. Asparagus. Yeah. Nice. I yeah. Like do men eat asparagus? Yes, we oh, yeah. do. Only real men. Yeah. And then we pee it out, and right? What are you yeah. eat? What are you, <laughs> that's right, Get baby. Out. What makes you, your tinkle what stink. What yeah. are you? <laughs> what, what are you eating, Kevin? I'm just munching on some fruit snacks here. Fr fruit snacks. What? You know. I already ate dinner. I'm still I'm still on a diet. What What about the other two? No No food for you guys? Huh? Oh, hey! Oh, I just I just. Oh, that's my man. He's got a glass of wine. I just Good got. Girl. A, I just got a, a message flat from tire. Phil. Just got a message flat from tire. Phil. Oh, flat, flat tire. tire, good. It says, uh, I just got out of my hospital bed. They wanted blood pressure sitting, standing, and laying down. I just walked with the nurse down the hall and back. I passed the test. I'll be going home in the morning. Gee, I got my money's worth from Kaiser this year. Um, I meant Kaiser this year. Thanks for your kind wishes. Well, you know, we worried about you, Phil. But yeah. Phil's going to be fine, so I guess... Thank uh, God for socialized medicine. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> how, how long are, are, are... See how good that picture looks on the air? See yes, how beautiful. clean that is? Anyway, uh, uh, tell me, um, uh, how long are stents supposed to last? I don't know. Don't ask me. You know. I mean, uh, have you got a stent? No, like a he's got a stent. The yeah, ocean, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I I got the yeah. numb I got numb feet. That's about all that's wrong with me. That I'll look a, it up. That and I got a torn meniscus, which you had, right? I have another one. You have another torn on meniscus. on the other knee, yes. And what are you doing about it? I get a cortisone shot every six months. Oh, they do cortisone takes care of it. Oh yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Didn't help mine. No, my, my, my first one, the cortisone didn't help, but this is helping pretty nicely. Really? Yeah. Because I had to go to physical therapy, and it's still a little little gamey, but not bad. No, I'm substantially younger than you, so that's why. <laughs> <I can think. laughs> You're still not young. I finally got uh, immune to those. What? I finally got immune to cortisone. Yeah. Really? You got bad knees? I got if bad I remember knees. correctly, though, doesn't it hurt? Like, I got a cortisone yes, shot a in my hand. Yeah. And he said, here, we just got to put this cortisone shot into your hand. And I put it down, and he put it in. And I, I went, what the yeah. fuck is going And it got worse. go right, into it, the, yeah. right, right downtown with it. Yeah, and, and, and you go like, uh, uh, is this thing ever going to let up? I mean, it was just got worse and worse and worse. And yeah. I said, you know, you better take care of this pretty goddamn fast, damn it. Big, hard needle, really long, and it hurts like hell. Really? And you yeah. say, I'm not gay. Anyway. Go right into the middle of the foot, right in, right, right, yeah. right into where it's hurt. They don't stop. Yeah, I got I mean, I got a shot in my knee, but it wasn't for the that. It was she found something else. I don't know. Oh. Anyway, so I'm going I'm going back to physical therapy again tomorrow. Going back to my old people because I complained and they said, well, we'll, we'll treat you better. They kept trying to upsell me to chiropractors. Wait, you complained? What? I, I can't believe that. Well, sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, my friend, I do complain yeah, about okay. things. Yeah. I, I'm I'll take your word for it. Huh? I'll take your word you, for you it. You take my word for it? Okay. <laughs> I, 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 uh, I, I will complain upon occasion uh -huh. when provoked. Okay. Now ask me what provokes me. What provokes you? Sun coming up in the morning. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It's the team of click and clack. Anyway. Um, I got to say, Ray, that asparagus is not looking very tender. It's very stringy. <laughs> it's very stringy. We're going gonna to we're gonna have to get your wife in here very shortly and, yeah. and explain why she's serving you that kind of thing. By the way, anybody else want to call? We'd love to hear from you. She some some it. nights it's packed <laughs> and other nights it's like this. You know, never can quite figure it out. But you will be happy to know. That in the uh, over four years that we've been doing GabNet, because yeah. our fourth anniversary, as okay. it says in the promos, 
Uh, this uh, network hasn't grown at all. <laughs> well, is this is this right? There's 35 people watching now. Yes, but at the end of the night, that could be a lot more in total. That's at any one given right. time. Right, but this is this is live. This is a live number. That's a live number. Where the hell are these people? They don't have phones. The, the, I don't know. Well, I haven't heard you give. You know what? The radio people were right. You never give the information you need to give to take care of this audience. That's what the problem is. What do they you don't mean? know where to they don't know where to click on. They don't know where to how to connect with you. You have to tell them this. Uh, there are also uh, 15 people talk listening on the audio. So okay. We have well, over 50 to, how, people listening. Now how cuz I haven't done it in years, but how would I get on with these fine people who are all eating their dinner? How do I do that? What well, do I do? Well, you would go tell over them. you would go over to gabnet.net. Okay. Where you could still see the video going on, good, by the way. Good start. You know, and then over on the right-hand side of the page, it tells you everything you need to know about calling this program, including a thing you can click on that will automatically dial Skype for you. Oh, that's genius. Yes. That's terrific. So, so just go to gabnet.net. Either that or at the bottom of the page is right. a phone number, 347. In fact, let me put that number. Well, I can't. I don't want to put that number up. It's going to ruin the screen here. Well, let, let me see here. Hold on a second. Panel, uh, image. Let me, let me see here. There at the very top, right over the head of, uh, of, of Tom Yamaguchi, there is a, how you, Gabnet Live is where you go, or if you want to call us, it's 347-352-0079. How's that? Okay. Now that I plugged that enough? Can you get a better font or something on that? I'll kinda, work on that. It looks kind of <laughs> creepy, like some kind of pedophile network. Well, no, You're, if you look here, it looks <laughs> much see. better. So looks, who are these four looks, guys up here? What's better. going on? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of creepy thing well, is happening? They are all pedophiles. Alex, Alex needs a producer, Albert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah Alex, work for free again, Albert. Yeah, okay, that's look. what I'm going to do. You know, well, we, it, it could happen. You never know. It could happen. Hey. It looks like Tom. It looks like that's your phone number. Oh, it's gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like call Tom. Yeah, at right. Four seven. Well, if I had more callers, I could then put in the logo at the bottom and that at the top. And so, what? Have we figured out exactly what's going on here? Is it video? Is it audio? Is it a podcast? Is it a radio show? Where are we in the in the technology of things? Do we know what's going on here exactly? Not exactly. No. Okay. No. So, we're, so right now we're at the point in technology where we're trying to be everything to everybody all the time. Well, we 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 don't know whether we're a TV show or whether we're well, actually. I'll tell you what we are. Okay. Let me just bring uh, John Rockwell in here. Hello, John. I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Hands. I'll tell you what we are. I'll tell you what we are. Uh, I think we're probably video before we're audio now, okay. because that's the way the end, that's the way podcasts are. Yeah. You know, there are very few people doing audio that's only true. podcasts. All right, so that would be my answer to that silly question. But Anything. the people still do listen to it on the uh, on the next day on iTunes and things. Oh yes, okay. oh yes, okay. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We go for a total audience of I think seven now. Seven is a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, that's good. You know, we're, we're, we're getting in there. See, so now I can put up both these things. See? But now where? And there, oh, we lost. Uh, but where are the chicks? You told me there's going to be chicks here. I don't see any chicks. I see two guys with beards uh, and one guy getting a little bald there on the top. There's Tom Yamaguchi, definitely not a chick, and I can't even score off Tom. Remember and, that uh, sex story you told in the beginning of the show? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but where are the chicks? Well, where we are have the a chicks? chick from Hawaii that usually that often calls. Well, we have yeah, that's Renee. Oh, Renee, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Renee, oh. calls. Renee, oh. yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah, where she, the hell is she? Oh, Renee, know. call. God, maybe. she's not out there tonight. They aren't doing much chatting tonight either. I have not seen or heard from Renee in in years. It's been oh, a long time. Yeah. Wow, she's doing well. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Except for the sulfur. Right, okay. Yeah, you know, the fact I that she why. feels like she's living in hell. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know. I know, and they got a hurricane headed that way, too. And who And who? Who, who was the couple that used to call all the time? He used to do the clips for sale uh, business on the side. What? Yeah, yeah. Couple? Yeah, they were in upstate New York, I think. Who was that? Uh, 
Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get my my old notes. Yeah, out. they've called in a couple Talk times, about Alex. Yeah. Uh, Talk about I don't Abby. remember their names. No, not yeah. Abby. No, not Abby. No. No, they, no, they to... called in a couple of times and and sat together in the where the where the hell were they? Yeah, it was up up New York. Yeah, they sit in their living room and, were... and and chime in together. Yeah. Yeah, and I use I, I always used to say that I, I'm positive they have a clips mm. for sale business where they're doing all kinds of crazy stuff and selling it on the clips for I sale. I can't site. remember who you're talking about. Yeah, I, I I can't either. They've called in a couple times, but that was about it. All right, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, and some of our people are away, like Phil is, of course, in the hospital. Right, right. And uh, Patrick Patrick, which, Patrick has his fudge packers to watch tonight. Right. <laughs> and, 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 uh, Tony. Tom, Tom which, you're going to allow that? And, and, uh, and uh, Jeff, uh, you don't know Jeff, but Jeff is in Italy. Did you hear that's anything not from Jeff him? from is California. No, this is Jeff from Connecticut. In what? Was no. he in, in no, he, near that bridge? You know, you know what it is? Somebody goes to a country. And yeah. something happens in that country. And everybody says, was he in Genoa? Well, you know, there's yeah. a lot more to Italy than Genoa. I think I was he was going, go to Rome. I was I, going to Rome. I didn't to know begin where he was with. going. He was going to Rome. Oh, okay. What happened in Genoa? Uh, this whole t uh, 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 bridge collapsed. Bridge broke. So that, I'm so out of it. So that and Aretha Franklin in one day? No, that happened no, yesterday. Oh, was Aretha was yesterday? <laughs> I thought that happened okay. today. Let me talk for a second about. Can I? Can, can I? Can I talk for a second about Aretha Franklin? Uh -oh. You know, Elvis uh -oh. died on the same date. Yeah. As Aretha right. Franklin. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. What are the chances of that? One in three hundred and sixty-five. Oh, fucking weird, right. man. Yeah. You know. Uh, and it was like uh, down the street or something. What? Where what? He what died. are the? Uh, gee, what? What are the chances? Well, that's what coincidence is. Right. What? What were you going to say, Tom? Yeah, and also uh, Joe DiMaggio. So you had the the Queen of Soul, the King of Rock and Roll, and the Sultan of of, of, Swi of the Sultan of Swing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, who who died now again? Uh, uh, Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio. Elvis, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley died. To, oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. day in history. Yeah. Oh wow. Well. well uh, 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 anyway, I, you know, for the last couple of days, she's been in a hospice, and they've been saying she's dying. She's going to be dead. She's going to be dead any minute. So they pre-sold this thing so much that when she finally died, you went, I'm glad it's finally over. You know, she's finally a, at peace. Uh, but all of a sudden, they figured, well, we were in first gear, or we were in the high gear for the last couple of days. We've got to go into a higher gear. And so then they're taking whole hours on MSNBC playing her songs over and over again. Yes, we know Aretha's dead. I feel sorry. She was the soundtrack of my life, but let's get on with it. NBC's doing a one-hour special right now. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, it's one day, for God's sake. Really. I know it's uh, one day, but you get... No, it's been about four or three days. I know. But yeah. it's Aretha. I mean, she's amazing. Well, they're not going to yeah. do it for me, so fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it for here. you. We'll do Alex. one here. Alex... Why do you keep assuming you're going to die before all of us? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I have to correct something. It was Babe Ruth. Sorry, not Joe DiMaggio. Babe Ruth. Oh. The Sultan oh. Swing. You're, the, you're my, my go-to guy for dead people. Yeah, that's what and I'm And you got say, it yeah. wrong? I, I, well, I forgot temporarily. Boy. But it was, Joe, it, was, it was Babe Ruth that died this day of history as well. I, I love the history of, of, of Babe Ruth. I mean, here's a guy who was a hero to kids everywhere, and all he loved to do was drink and fuck hookers. <laughs> you know? Uh, what else is there? Oh, Lynn. <laughs> There's still plenty of those guys here today. Rin says, we're the couple who called from upstate New York. No. There you go. Well, they should call right now. No, Rin called on no, our oh, own. Oh, then, then Phil is messaging in and saying... Uh, hold on a second. Uh, Rick and wife. Rick, that's right. Yeah, okay. I don't remember Rick. Oh, yeah. And what was his wife's name? Oh. Well, Rin says they were the couple. No. So maybe it was Rick no, and... No, Rin called, Rin called me all the time. It was and, and 
Rick knows who it is. Yeah. Rick knows who it is. Rick Horn and Teresa. Yes, Rick and Teresa. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah, what happened to Rick Horn and Teresa? Now Maybe I remember their clips Rick for sale business took off so much that they don't they even didn't have they clips. don't even appear in public they anymore. They weren't doing clips for sale. Oh, I always believe they were. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they were nice. They oh, were really yeah. nice people. Yes, I was sorry people. to see them go. Great Where people. are they? They're, they're a somewhere. Here comes. I'm getting. Getting That's all that. kinds of messages tonight. What are clips for sale? What yeah. are clips? Yeah. Don't even pretend you don't know what the hell I'm talking yeah. about. Rick Horn and Teresa on. says says <laughs> Rin. Thank you, Rin. I appreciate. Don't it. Don't pretend. Oh wait a minute. Here, here, here comes. Who who is this? It was. Uh, is this is 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 this Doug again? Hello. Hello. Who's this? <laughs> Mr. Bennett. Yeah. Mr. Okay, Bennett. I heard uh, Mr. Uh, Albert say nobody was calling in, so I decided to call you. Oh, this from, is uh, Hawaii. This is this is from you're from Hawaii, and and why aren't you uh, skyping tonight? Well, uh, actually, it's easier for me to use the phone uh, with the internet kind of flaky out here right now. With all of, you know, volcanic activity has gone down oh, for a while, right. and I'm just recovering from a cataract. A replacement cataract on my left eye, a cataract lens replacement, wow. and also a detached retina. So I'm sort of a bit of one eye. Wait a minute! Did you have out. to have the cataract? <laughs> you had you had the cataract surgery, and they put in a lens, and that lens went bad. No, actually, first was a detached retina. That was the serious stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I had to I had to fly to Honolulu for that type of surgery because they didn't have the surgeons here, and then. Uh, after that, the cataract started to get real ripe, if you know what I'm saying. You, yeah, they, 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 they love using that term. Your cataract is ripe. It's time to do it. Who are you That's talking right. with? Who is this? They had to punch down. James Lee. So this is James Lee in, in oh, Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, well, oh, okay. Yeah, he usually has a camera. He usually okay. has a camera, but he said... Yes, I've seen yeah. him before. Yeah. The video is so dicey right now because they have volcanic activity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and anyway, just let you know, I, 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 could, I, I could hear you guys, and, uh, you know, on, uh, on the internet. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Albert was right. You, you, you're not posting your phone number on your website anymore. You, you simply say go use Skype. No, no, That's no. If you look at the very bottom of the website, of the right hand side of the page, there's the number three four seven three five two zero zero seven nine. It is indeed. That's Okay, I might, I might have missed it on my iPad. So I don't, luckily, I was able to Google the number. So. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Oh, my God. I just looked at clips for sale. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy uh, smokes. What, what is it? Is and, it? Anyway, I'll let you guys go. I uh, just want to let you know you got a good signal coming in here to the island. It's now about 5.30, uh, uh, and the sun is still shining, but the roaches are flying. <laughs> oh, boy. Stay safe. Stay Thanks. safe. Thank you very much, James. Uh, Okay, take care, gentlemen. That's bye -bye, James all. Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, great call. James Lee. Okay, wait a minute. Let me, I'm trying to turn this off. Well, how do I get it off? Remove person from group. Okay, I just did Where's that. our new um, Chinese friend uh, who went to Thailand? Uh, 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 Keenan. Wait a minute. Keenan, well, he's not here. Wait a minute. Who's there? Is that you again, oh. James? I guess somehow the call reversed. You ended up calling me again. Oh, let me, hang, right. up, let me hang up <laughs> on you then. I guess. Remove person from group. There we go. Okay, right. now we're done. Hello, John Rockwell. Hello. Uh, well, I heard you didn't have enough people online. It's like, what the heck? I'll, I'll pop on for a little and, while. And, What's up? And by the way, in case you don't know, uh, John used to work with me at Midnight Blue. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh. Did you get my email about uh, about Bernard Getz? Yes, you were at a party with Bernard Getz. Yes, uh, the okay. subway vigilante, as he was known. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He calls that, I talked to him, and he calls that the event. <laughs> when the oh. event happened, I was living at whatever. And he's pretty sure he moved into where you moved out. Well, I, no, I know, it's not for sure. I know he moved oh, into did. where okay, I, I moved sure out. You knew. Oh, I figured yeah. I'd ask him anyway. Yeah, well, what happened was, wow. is... Um, um, I I I, it, it, I was watching television one night, and they said they found this guy who did the shooting, right, in the subway, and uh, he lives in this apartment house on 14th Street, and I'm going, that's the fucking Courtney house. It's where I lived. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I, I I I called somebody, oh. and uh, 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 what was it? They oh yeah, 
I think I called my friend Shecky, and I said, I just saw that they found this guy, Bernard Getz, who did the shooting in the subways, and he lived on in, in my building on 14th Street. And he said, well, I got the newspaper here. Guess what? I said, what? He lived in your apartment. <laughs> and he still does. And he still does. Yeah, he's still and there. the first thing that hit me was, well, there goes win winning the, uh, goes you the know, neighborhood. Yeah. No, <laughs> there goes winning the uh, publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes because uh, all coincidence <laughs> has been blown. True. Yeah. True. Wow. No, he he's was. He was he's definitely a. He's a pretty weird ass nut job, but hey, you know. Oh, really? I don't have anything to do with him <laughs> really? shooting anybody. Well, well, but since then, he's become a pretty weird ass nut job. <laughs> think, think about, think about my guilt, okay? Yeah. <laughs> because if I hadn't moved out of that apartment, those right. that guy might be walking to this day, you know. Right. <laughs> what? Do you remember which subway he was on? Was he, it was on was the F. I think, was it, I, think, I, think it was, I think it was the F train. He got on at 14th oh Street. Oh, my God. There you go. Yeah. If he was living over on uh, East 52nd Street, case, he may never been there. Well, actually, we, we, should, we should tell people who are not familiar with this no. that uh, Bernard Getz was known as the subway shooter, subway vigilante. Mm -hmm. And uh, one night he went down the subway and some guy came over and said, you got any spare change or something? And he then pulled out a gun and shot at four of them. Yeah, there were yeah. three or four little, the three or four young guys. One of them who's still in a wheelchair. The other, did any of them die? I don't think so. The others either got injured or ran the hell out. Yeah. Uh, but I remember, I remember at the time, you know, sort of like, wow, geez, you know. Yeah. And the most, the supposedly one of them threatened him with a screwdriver. Like, yeah. oh, here we go. Well, yeah, I mean, a screwdriver can do some damage, but. You know, he, he pulls out a gun. You'd think they would get the hell out of there. <laughs> well, then somebody wrote an article. Some woman who lived below me wrote an article mm -hmm. uh, in uh, the New Yorker about the Bernard about Bernard Getz and said he moved into the apartment upstairs that was that was before that rented by Alex Bennett, well-known New York pornographer. Pornographer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernie said the same thing. He said the the neighbor said, "Oh, he was a." He was, he was, I think he was shooting porno films and, and orgies there. It's like, really? I mean, not when I was around, you weren't. You worked Midnight Blue. We never shot anything in there. Not there, no. no. We did early on there, weren't you? But it wasn't, it wasn't like a big episode. You did an interview there or two, but mostly we did it in the studio, which was a block away, yeah. you know. Yeah. We didn't need your place. We were fine with with our own our own real stu studio yeah, space. We, we, we could fuck in our own studio. Which was the Electro Record Studio back in the fifties, yeah, well, right? Wasn't that it? Was what, like was it the Electro Record Studio? I think it was Electra because remember it had those it had those special windows. You yes, know, it had studio there. windows. Yeah. yeah. Somebody told me it was Electra, uh, like you know, early on before they moved. Uh, there was like maybe one of the earliest places they were at. I love I love the idea of it. You know? Yeah, um, right. and that you know, have that history there too. <laughs> but anyway, we were talking about Aretha and. Uh, oh yeah, talk about that, right? It, by it, history. It, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was very. Holy it, crap. It, I, I'd like to say it's sad. It's sad the way she died. She had pancreatic cancer, which is yeah, the worst, exactly. Which is the worst. And for a while too. Sometimes that'll take you quickly. If it doesn't, it's real nasty. You know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't die quickly. Pancreatic cancer is no well. My fun. my <laughs> ex-wife Ronnie got pancreatic cancer, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, she uh, they, they for some reason they were able to operate on her. It's very inoperable exactly. in most cases, and she's alive now. And they say cancer-free, wow. which she's, oh, yeah. she's yeah, very yeah. lucky because usually pancreatic cancer is a death sentence. Oh yeah, yeah I had well, a, if you see some my of first those doctor pictures. died of it. Yeah. Hmm? If you see some of those videos of her a couple few years ago, she was pretty heavy set, and then they showed a picture of her like last year, and she had just lost Over tons. Reza, of yeah. yeah, yeah, Oh, she was absolutely yeah gaunt. She in a was couple of eighty-five pictures. pounds when she died. Wow. Yeah, but, yeah. But you yeah, know, was, I mean, uh, 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 so I, you know, so let me know and uh, tell me, and that's fine. And now, what other news is there? You know, but oh, you don't have to belabor. Trump didn't die. You don't. You yeah, don't have exactly. to belabor it hour after <laughs> hour after hour. Oh, well, did you, did yeah. you see him on TV today uh, talking about the death of Ugh. of uh, her? 
No. Reading yeah, it was all it was all him. It, no, reading oh, every word gee. of it. Right. He he couldn't say it from his heart, you know. He had to have it all laid out. Right. You know, a eulogy for somebody it. like yeah. that's the simplest thing you could do. Yeah. You don't have to read it, but he's looking that he, he doesn't make any bones about the fact that he's reading it too. You know? Yeah. Plus, he's a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Elvis died on the same day as Aretha Franklin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Put me in the grave right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Ambrosa yeah. wants to put me in too, but she's not going to do it. Uh, yeah. There you go. And Ambrosa, that dog. You know, I'm not a big fan of Ms. Omarosa anyway. So, no. you know, it's I mean, not really, but no, I mean, you know, whether God. she has any has the goods on Donald or not, fine with me. But I'm not going to. Well, go, I look oh at. Oh my it, God, he, she's the savior of the Democrats. I, 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 I look at it. I look. I look. I look at it. Turned the White House into a full-on reality show. It, it, exactly. He just, yeah. well, he just, let, just turned it over to a full-on reality show. It was halfway absolutely, there. Absolutely. He I, just you know, finished it off. My way of looking at it is: yes, she's a cunt, but she's our cunt. Well, <laughs> you know. That's uh, only because I think they're paying her more. We're paying her more than anybody Don has thrown up. I mean, she's, she rejected what he was supposedly supposed to, you know, try to pay her for, yeah. for keeping silence. By, so. the, by the way, I'm, 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 hold on a second. I'm, just, I'm, 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 Trump, look, I'm looking at, at, uh, at uh, uh, our, our good friend uh, Albert here, and he looks like he's wearing makeup because he's got such a tan from living in Florida. Look at that. He looks, how come you can't, I can't, I, it looks like the before and after picture here, you know? Get outside once in a while. Huh? That's I all go you gotta outside. do. I go outside, I work out every day. Well, working out, you're not working out outside, you're inside. Go outside and stay outside for a little while. It's, That's how, how did, you get a tan. Did you see how fucking hot it was? Yeah. Have you been to Florida? Yeah. <laughs> you used to live there. It's the same fucking hot as it is here. It's, it's yeah. the same fucking it's hot as it is here. Lotion. And it's humid easily. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've been joined by... that lotion that makes you tan. It's called... Uh, oh, you mean oh, you mean the spray-on tan stuff? The, yeah, it works good. Uh, I did it once. The John Boehner thing? Uh, yeah, the John Boehner thing. Oh, he just Trump uses too now. much. Right, right. Well, you know what's terrible about Trump is that he goes, he undoubtedly goes into a um, sunbox a or, or whatever, uh, you know, a tanning booth. Yeah. That's because the Frito, because Frito he's edition. got the, the no tan here on his eyes because he's wearing oh, yeah, cause the, he goggles. Was the goggles. Uh. <laughs> Can, can't you just do that and close your eyes so you're, you you don't look like that? Not a if, if you accidentally open them, you'll go blind or something. Yeah. Uh. Well, wishful that's... thinking, my friend. Wishful thinking. <laughs> well, I've no, seen, no, no. I, I saw him on TV Otter the coat. other day, and I almost went blind myself. So you know, this clips for sale is something. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you bought now? No, I haven't bought. I'm not going to buy shit. Well, well, but you, you will. Over. You will find out that the, whatever you put in there, you're going to find. This is not. Forget about Pornhub because this is. Whatever you think about is going to be in there. Oh, wow. Somebody has a thing. Oh, there we go. Well, I like the ladies I like and the gentlemen icon. calling us now from Hawaii. Uh, it is the wonderful, the musical stylings yeah. of Renee Collins. Hello, hey, Renee. Hey. Hello, Renee. You got the Trump now, doll up now, there. You know what's interesting? Really really what's doll. interesting is two of the people on right now. We're at my installation at the Bay Area right. Hall of Fame. Right. Radio well, Hall of Fame. Technically four. What, yeah, do, you mean, technically what, four. what do you mean technically four? Well, well you. Two. Oh, oh, well, right. yeah, of course. Okay. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Of course. Four. Uh, it was One, a, yeah. There's four. What, did you turn Republican overnight? You can't count to four? <laughs> <laughs> no. When was this? <laughs> no, I just was wasn't. This installation? Wow. Oh, when God. Was when was it? It's about eight uh, years ago. Four? 2008. Eight, really? Three, uh, yeah, ten years yeah. ago. 2008, yeah. Yes, that's right. They installed me in the uh, Bay Area Hall of Fame in which I get a piece of paper with my name on it. <laughs> and a lunch. And a lunch. A lunch you know what I just found uh, that I should show you? I actually have my uh, 
a, a proclamation from the mayor of uh, San Francisco, Art Agnos at the time, Oh, nice. uh, naming a certain date Alex Bennett Day oh, in San good. Francisco. Yeah. <laughs> is there a the significance is, to the have date? You been what? Is there a significance to the date? N not at all. No. Okay. Not there at you all. are okay. on the list. What? Uh, I see the list of all the inductees. You're right there, man. Yeah, Alex yeah. Bennett. Yeah, there I am. 2008. Yeah. yeah. So I, so Albert, I listen to like the first thirty minutes or so, and then I have to go watch the weather because we've got a hurricane oh, coming. Oh right, right yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it's nice to have you back, and and I'm happy that you're like loving Florida. That's a plus. Yeah, well, until we don't love it anymore, then we'll go somewhere else we love. Because <laughs> what else is there in life, right? Well, at what, so have you made it to Las Vegas yet? Because that was one of the places you wanted to go. No, but we said that we'd probably stick around here for seven, uh, around Florida for seven years, somewhere, uh, uh, probably on the uh, on the East Coast in the South Florida. And then maybe if it starts to get to be a drag, and it sometimes it does, sometimes wherever you move to gets to be a drag, then we may look into Vegas. Because I have a, a, one of my best friends uh, that I grew up with in high school just is just moving there at the end of the year and and, and what's better to do than hang out, hang out with people you grew up with and turn old with them that's the best <laughs> thing yeah but, but las vegas uh, you know i've spent 5 days in las vegas and after the third day i was looking for a gun to kill myself with <laughs> yeah but you spent yes, 5 days I, as a tourist no i wasn't there as a tourist i was actually working oh, wow. there i was at a convention uh, and uh, w you know, we were selling stuff basically and uh, I had to spend five days in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is a great place to go for two, three days. What, what were you selling in Vegas? Uh, I was working for... Uh, for, uh, for the uh, porn for store? Play, playing corporate. Yeah, I was just going to say yeah. that himself. Yeah, okay. We were selling clips for <laughs> sale. Clips for sale. Uh, before clips for sale, there was Vegas. Do you buy clips for sale and clips for sale? Yes. Oh, well, because you yeah. can get really? clips. you believe because it? Because on, on the... Uh, on the uh, a torrent site I go to, they have clips for sale on there for free. Yes, oh. that's well, that's what everybody does. You know how it works. Does you, anybody pay for porn? You steal it and you throw it up for free. Does anybody pay for porn anymore? Uh, there was a guy I knew that did. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm Larry not kidding. Larry Brown still, pays, still doesn't have internet, so there's got to be some guy still paying for porn now. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're well, frozen for just, some reason, Renee. I don't oh, know did why. I? Oh, that's weird. All right, give me a moment. It doesn't matter. It's a very flattering fr yes. fr freeze frame. I'll there talk. You oh, hey, did you see my new Skype photo? Yeah, very yes. nice. Yeah, nice. It, it's baby it's Trump. baby Trump. Yeah. It's the Trump balloon. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's Trump Relatable. baby. <laughs> he made it to New Jersey. He's in New Jersey today. Oh, really? Oh, wow. We'll have to look for him. Wow. <laughs> in Bedminster? Look out, the, look out the window and see if he's floating by. <laughs> yeah. Where are you that you can see the Trump baby? In New Jersey. Oh, I was just reading the BBC, but he lives in New Jersey, right? New York, I guess. New Jersey. I, I, haven't, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, isn't he this has a big club in New, New Jersey. Jersey? Think about this for a second, uh, uh, oh. Albert. We're sitting here doing this program. And she's in Hawaii. Right. Look how clear she is. Look at that. Yeah. That's just sci-fi. You know, I talked about the time in San Francisco when I was a kid, and we, we were they they literally did a TV show on the show called Wide Wide World, Dave right. Garraway, and it was the f they put in the uh, coaxial cable uh -huh. across the United States, uh -huh. and now they were going to show you a picture on the right hand side of your screen, left hand side of your screen is the Brooklyn Bridge and it's New York City and on the oh, right hand God. side is the Golden Gate Bridge and we just sat in black and white right. and both blurry and we just sat there and I was just awed by it now look 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 nothing there's there's this there's is Renee. picture phone this is what they promised us yeah baby Trump I want to be known as baby Trump yeah <laughs> and I like yours who's got yep, the bald Trump is. photo up there where am I Oh yeah, yeah there's, there's bald Trump. Yeah, there's bald Trump. Trump. Lex Luthor Trump. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. No, it's great, but I'd rather, you know, instead of having the picture phone, I'd rather have the flying car or or just the self-driving car would be nice by now. Where well, are all we these things? Yeah, well, you know I what we wait. never got? You know what we never got that I wanted? Which which the household robot? 
Yeah, you're you right, know, we don't have that yet. W- with the little apron yeah. and like the Rose maids out there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, a little bigger than Roomba. Her we, name was Rosie. Rosie, right? Rosie, yeah. All right. From no, the but, Jetsons. But we were yeah, told, we were told that we Jetsons. were going to have like the household robot. And you would go to all these shows, these futuristic shows they would put on. Right, at the and World's they would, Fair. And, and they would have robots, you know. Mm-hmm. Who, uh, and well, they still do. Yeah. How can I serve you? This, Japan, they had one definitely. at the World's Fair that smoked a sex cigarette. Spots. Right. Sex spots. <laughs> I was just going to say that, Mark. Selfie. I'm sorry. What? Yes, Tom. We actually, uh, here in Berkeley, we've got these little delivery robots that I see running around the streets. They're little boxes on wheels, and, and they deliver stuff. Yeah, mm. really. And they were close to that. Bree, Bree uh, oh. showed us those robots over in uh, Dubai that were, you know, talking to you at the bank and stuff. So they're pretty close. Mm-hmm. Well, Remember? so what's going to accelerate this robot issue is the fact that you men want a robot to fuck, and therefore. <laughs> oh, here we scary. go. Here we go. <laughs> Why should we want a robot to fuck when we have our wives? Yeah. Well, then, so you want somebody to clean the we house. We got hands. There you go. Hands <laughs> right. So you have you know, your wives. I don't. By know. the way, <laughs> by the way, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. Yeah. Oh, okay. We understand that one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. But no, robots I, have a right-handed or left-handed robot. No, we exactly. never got the flying cars. We never got the household robots. You know what somebody said to me was that the uh, the the home of the future actually became the office of the future. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's bad. If you think about it, I mean, offices are far more automated than your house is. Now, I got to yeah. tell you, I do have my Echo in three rooms in this house. And I really rely on that. And I think of her as a friend. Uh, so oh, you've assigned, no, 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 you've assigned oh, something like to an AI. And this is a whole conversation about how humans are going to interact with AI. And then why we must feel, why we feel the need to this. Thank oh. you. Why we need, why we feel the need to assign a gender to it or a, you know a he or a she attached to it well so, in the case of echo it's a she there is no male voice that you can uh, well my siri it's a he siri siri there is alexa. a male voice my, my google all women. i can do well man o- or alexa woman. they're all women no but siri well, i can do both siri you can uh, opt if you go in you can opt for a guy i think with a british accent you have a choice of accent. oh my wife has the uh, aussie He's an Aussie. It's the Aussie accent. I have him too. Good job. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, she's. I got an Aussie in there. But yeah. uh, but uh, Amazon only has one. They have the female. <sighs> and I think they've got it. On, I think they're keeping it as a female on purpose because it has an identity. They call her Alexa. The name of the piece of equipment is Echo. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then you say Alexa in order to activate it. I have it. I say Echo because of. If I have it set to say Alexa, sometimes it would just and go off right. if, if my wife said, Alex, and then she would go, what do you want? You know. <laughs> right. Yeah, with uh, Siri, my, da- my daughter's name is Sarah. And I, so I'll tell you what Sarah, happened. Siri goes That's off. Last, way too close. Last, <laughs> night, and last night is a very rare occurrence. Uh, my uh, uh, internet went out. My Fios internet has <laughs> never wow. done this. But it was out. And I called them, and they said, uh, no, you're, it's out in your neighborhood, and it probably won't be up till about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're having problems. Wow. And I went, oh, OK. So you know, But then I went, and I, I, I tried to use my Echo. And you can't use your Echo if it isn't hooked up to the internet. Surprise. And, and, bas- and she <laughs> went, I said, Echo, what time it is it? And she says, I can't tell you that right now. I don't have that information. And I'm thinking, Oh yeah, the internet's out. So essentially, Alexa has Alzheimer's. You know, because that's what it is. It's kind of Alzheimer's, where she has no, she has no ability really to talk to you. So as I've been working on uh, automating my home, I have found on occasions that my HomePod, which is my Siri, drops its location. 
which is part of the airplay function, if I remember correctly. So on occasions, I'll say, Siri, what's the temperature outside? And Siri goes, yeah, I got no idea where you are. And I'm like, well, five feet away from you, bitch. But <laughs> you know what I find? The problem, I have with, the problem I have with Siri is that it, it's, it's, it's voice recognition isn't as good Oh, yeah. as, echoes, as echoes as echoes echoes is pretty faultless i mean i haven't and google if you like use, google's awesome uh, google's terrific yeah you know. i have a google home it's so great. why why apple hasn't like said come on all these other guys have got it right why don't we do it right but they <laughs> haven't and, and i i asked siri something the other day on my phone and it, it got it all wrong didn't even know what i was saying, and then I tried to get it to write what I was saying, and it didn't get it right. You know. Yeah, it, it's it's not just you. But. Yeah. Well, see, Jack was talking about getting one of these things, and I said, well, if you have an Apple iPhone, I would say I would normally say get Siri, but because Siri sucks so bad, and then I think Ray chirped up and said, you know, I love Google AirPlay or whatever it is. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Google Home. Google Home. Yeah, so it's it's got to be much better than Siri because Siri's got to well, be. Well, the trouble the trouble also is with the HomePod that you got is they're mono, they're not stereo. Hmm. No. Well, yes, they are not stereo. You, they're gonna you, they're gonna have it, so you're gonna have to buy two HomePods to make it to stereo. get a stereo sound. Yeah. No, well that's not true because I have an Echo Dot and no, I. No, no, no. We're talking about the HomePod, Apple's HomePod. Oh, I don't know anything about the Apple. dot. The uh, the all the, uh, the, uh, the the I know that uh, the two of the I have the Apple the Echo Show, uh, and that's full stereo. Yeah, it's full stereo. Yeah. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that Apple's only single. So I'm gonna just go check that out. Yeah. I thought it was stereo. They do that in the uh, yeah. the iPad Pros. It's stereo. Yeah, they so that's good news yeah, about Phil, yeah, too. Yeah, but the yeah. iPad Pros, they do have two speakers in them. In fact, uh, the, uh, here are the two speakers in the, uh, in the iPhone as well. Yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, however, I wouldn't want to sit here and listen to my iPhone. I'm sorry. Uh, no. Is that, is that the new iPhone? That's really yeah. neat. Wow, that's it, great. It, can you open that with your face? Yes, I can see oh, this. Yeah, it unlocked great. already. And there oh, we go. Man, and, that and, is uh, terrific. Isn't that terrific? Wow. Hey, you have uh, you have uh, Google. Uh, do you have face recognition on it? Hey, Renee. Uh, no, I had yeah, face recognition on my first again. Android. Is there a macadamia yeah. nut shortage <laughs> over there? Where did well, that come from? Well, what happened is, is the volcano actually took out a, a, quite a few macadamia nut farms. Mm. And so there's only a few standing now on this island. So it's 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 going to be problematic soon. It Why like do you need a few nuts? It's hard to get over here. What is Are is really? Ray is Ray going to play us off? Is that what he's going to do? Oh, I don't know. I just picked up the guitar because I was sitting here. Because it looks mm-hmm. cool. I don't play it. It just looks cool when I pick it up. Yeah. Oh, Ray! I was going to tell you. I went to see a play the other night. Yeah. What was it? Uh, that one. I oh, tell the tale of Sweeney Todd. Yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> and and I realized that these people bring ringers in because I was sitting there watching the play and I'm going, wow, these guys have such great voices. And I've never seen one of them before in my entire life going, how the fuck did you get so many good town. voices on one island? Right. Hey, listen, we've run, out, we've run out of time. Hear the theme going on there? Hear that? Hear that? Uh, listen, uh, uh, I want you to all... Uh, First of all, we had Tom, and then the Google head, we've got uh, Ray, and then we've got John, and we got Renee Collins in Hawaii with his Google doll. There's Scott Boddicker. There's Kevin. And Steve hasn't said a word, okay? Well, you didn't chime me in, and I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, okay. So that, uh, that, but that's our citizen panel for tonight. And if they would all give a big wave goodbye, I think uh, that would be really, really nice. Bye bye and that's our uh, that's our citizen panel. Let me let me just dump them here uh, <laughs> unceremoniously. Uh, let me see here. Let me close this down. Okay. Hey, listen. Uh, it's been great having you here. Um, uh, go offline. Yes, go offline. And uh, that's uh, that's about it. Hey, it's been great having you here. You're talking to me? I'm, I'm not talking to the wall. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Well, I, I've uh, had a pleasure myself. Thank you. Uh, yes. And uh, th- this has been 
uh, Albert Reynoso, and uh, he will uh, you'll, you'll come back and see us again later next week, right? I hope to, yeah. 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 Unless I eat too much and can't yeah. it, ro- I can't tell you around. how great it is to have you around. It's good to be it's back. Just, I, so I always feel more myself when you're around. Uh, buy me things. We, we no. Don't just say it. Buy me things. We will. <laughs> we'll buy his stuff. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's Jack Bishop next with the intersection at 1 o'clock this morning. It's Connections. Uh, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's Connections, yeah, uh, 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 Eastern Time, uh, 1 o'clock. And then tomorrow night at uh, 9.30, it's Damian Chaplin and The Exchange. And then I'll be back around here tomorrow night, 10 o'clock, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Thanks a lot. <laughs>